कि कॉम्पिटेंसी बेस्ड मेडिकल एजुकेशन करिकुलम गाइडलाइंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वॉज गिवन बाई नेशनल मेडिकल कमीशन गाइडलाइंस विल सुपरसीड द एर्लियर गाइडलाइंस इश्यूड बाई एन एम सी एंड विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम एम बी बी एस बैच ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑनवर्ड्स दी कॉम्पिटेंसी बेस्ड अंडर ग्रेजुएट करिकुलम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वॉज which includes the subject wise competencies that uh, the indian medical graduate should accomplish if you want a separate video on the competencies of each subject please comment in the section below i will do it for you this undergraduate medical education program is designed with a goal to create an indian medical graduate possessing requisite knowledge skills attitudes values and responsiveness so that he or she may function appropriately and effectively as a physician of first contact of the community while being globally relevant the cbmb curriculum was first introduced in the year of 2019 by the nmc and it was further uh, updated recently in the 2023 also and it was now currently updated newly updated in the 2024 uh, to 2025 year onwards uh, this will be the most updated one by the nmc current video we will discuss the updated one uh, cbmb curriculum of 2024 which was given by nmc so the mbbs course is of four and a half years which is followed by next exam to be qualified to the internship and after the internship of one year in the respective college hospital you will be proceed to post graduate that is up to but in this video we will discuss the about the, the course complete course of the mbbs which is to be noted by every student so the mbbs course is divided into three phases phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 the phase 1 is of a duration 12 months followed by a university exam which is also called as mbbs 1 or first year mbbs which has a subjects like anatomy physiology and biochemistry as a core subjects in the anatomy you will have general anatomy gross anatomy uh, which is further has upper limb lower limb head and neck and thorax and abdomen and pelvis as a regions and it also has neuroanatomy microanatomy also called as histology and embryology and in physiology you will have general physiology and systemic physiology in biochemistry you will have uh, like what are the biochemical uh, events that occur in the human body and respect to test to diagnose medical abnormalities also it will be present and each every subject is followed by the practicals it's very important in the uh, mbbs or uh, as a medico because practical knowledge is also most important uh, for your journey so anatomy has practicals like dissection of a cadaver in the dissection halls and histology labs you will have slides microscopic anatomy you have to draw you have to use hnst uh, uh it's any pencils to draw and you will uh, note the differences between different tissues of the body and you have anatomy museums where the organs are preserved in formal in like every organ is preserved so you have a clear cut uh, concept of what anatomy is in uh, in your respective college so in physiology also practicals are the most important you will have hematology hematology lab that you will uh, involved in the uh, blood uh, physiology where you will have rbc count wbc count and the differential leukocyte counts for your further knowledge and you'll have amphibian experiments that you will write in your records and you will perform also and you have you have clinical experiments that to be done so you will get a clear cut idea when you join the college and biochemistry also practicals are the most important you have to do uh, on your own which involves the constants of urine and normal abnormal and how record book and manual manual to uh, go further so in the in the first year apart from these core subjects you will have a community medicine which was introduced in first year only uh, you will get to visit of uh, uh, villages nearby villages where you adopt five families uh, which is called as family adoption program where you uh, you get to know the families their health profiles their details and you will uh, follow them up to your uh, phase 3 part 1 so uh, community medicine will be introduced in the phase 1 so and you have you will have a foundation course where uh, they will explain where the professors will explain the foundations like uh, how uh, how a medical graduate should be like so they will introduce you foundation course of the subjects and you will have edcom this is this is the uh, the prime aim of the cbmb that 
it include atcom that means attitude ethics and communication uh, which uh, which deals with how a physician and a clinician should become after his mbbs uh, degree so that is also important uh, aspect that was introduced in the cbmb curriculum and you will have early clinical exposure you will get to uh, go into the hospital of your respective college where you notice everything every department you will get to know every every departments that uh, that was there in your hospital you'll, you'll have an, an idea about because in your second year you will have a clinical posting so this early clinical uh, exposure uh, is will form a basic foundation for your clinical postings and you'll have pandemic module recently the corona pandemic like it happened so the pandemic, uh, pandemic module will uh, help you to uh, control the outbreaks that ha- that will happen in the future also you'll you'll have a, a clear cut idea about those emerging diseases so you'll have stimulation based learning also uh, in your respective colleges colleges you will have skill labs or stimulation labs where you'll learn uh, the phase 2 of the mbbs course uh, this duration is also 12 months followed by university exam this is, this period is also called as second mbbs or second year of the mbbs the core subjects of this phase uh, are pathology pharmacology and microbiology in pathology you will have general pathology systemic pathology histopathology and your and your pharmacology also you will have general pharmacology and systemic pharmacology where you will learn about different drugs in pathology you will learn about this is uh, that were causing by by uh, different organisms and like the study of the disease you will get to know in the pathology this is also a huge subject uh, and microbiology the organism that causes the disease you will learn in this subject it's also followed by the community medicine as usual i said in the first phase so the community community medicine follows a family adoption program uh, as a social and preventive medicine concept so you will have clinical exposure the clinical postings like general surgery general medicine obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics respect to departments will issued by your college so in the general surgery you will have orthopedics department radio diagnostics anesthesiology and in general medicine psychiatry dvl dermatology venerology and leprosy these concepts will be will uh, eventually you will get an idea in the third phase but these were little bit introduced in your second uh, phase also second year also so these uh, clinical postings followed by fmt forensic medicine and toxicology you will get the introduction of the forensic medicine here and you'll have as usual pandemic module and stimulation based learning and atcom attitude ethics and communication followed by student logbook that you will write what you have learned in those subjects as a uh, student profile you will write and this phase is followed by university exam and you'll further go to phase 3 its duration is around 30 months it's further divided into part 1 and part 2 where the part 1 duration is 12 months which is also called as mbbs 3 or third year mbbs which has the core subjects as forensic medicine toxicology which were introduced in your phase 2 but it will act as a core subjects in the in phase 3 part 1 and community medicine which was your which was a part of your curriculum in phase 1 and phase 2 but it act as a major, major core uh, subject in phase 3 of part 1 and you will be you will be having a new two subjects that were included from the part 2 into your part 1 which was ENT or the, also called as auto rhino laryngology and ophthalmology okay these are the core subjects of the part 1 of phase 3 that is third year of your MBBS and you will have the clinical posting as usual as medicine and their allied subjects like psychiatry and uh, dvl and general medicine as usual and surgery and its allied subjects like orthopedics anesthesiology radio diagnosis and general surgery which was which was introduced in your second year and you will have pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology as usual and you will be having atcom attitude ethics and uh, communication and pandemic module and stimulation based learning and family adaptation program as usual of the community medicine department and we'll be having electives electives were divided into two elective 1 and elective 2 elective 1 which we uh, which will be uh, given to you kept to you in the end of the part 1 and the elective 2 will be kept after the part 1 and when the introduction of the part 2 and the joining of the uh, mbbs 4 they'll keep elective 2 it will be 15 15 days 
uh, gap like 15 days 15, 15 days for elective one and 15 days for elective two overall electives are 30 days and followed by university exams where you will qualify third year mbbs and you will advance to and the part two of the phase three mbbs you will have uh, it is of the duration 18 months it's also called as MBBS 4 or 4th year MBBS, which will be having uh, electives. Afterward, you will have the main core subjects as medicine, which has the elite subjects as psychiatry, DVL, and general medicine. And of course, surgery as a core subject. You will have general surgery, which was introduced in your second year and third year, uh, and uh, which includes also orthopedics, anesthesiology, and radio diagnosis. And pediatrics will be the core subject in the fourth year, and DVL and OBG. Obstetric and gynecology is also core subjects in uh, fourth year MBBS, which is followed by at home and pandemic module and the clinical postings as usual, which is followed by the university exams, where you'll uh, you'll be having next exam followed by that next exam. If you qualify in the next exam only, you'll you'll be proceed to the internship. If not, you have to repeat the MBBS like uh, final year also again by preparing for that next e exam to be qualified for your internship. And uh, you will be followed after your uh, doing internship internship of one year in your respective hospital. You will be proceeded to uh, various uh, fields like PhD, post graduation, and other medical office or uh, medical uh, jobs. That you, uh, I, I just want to tell you that 2023 CBMB curriculum also like what are the changes that happened in 2024. You may get noticed. So in the CBMB 2023, the course is also four and a half years. The MBS course is also divided into phase one, phase two, and phase three. But phase one, uh, like phase one, is also twelve months. Phase two also twelve months, and phase three also three months, thirty months. In phase one, the core subjects were anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Same commentary medicine, atcom, and uh, family adoption program, and pandemic modules, and uh, modules, and early clinical exposure and stimulation based learning were also common. And uh, uh, allegation and integrated learning also were common. And in phase two, it's of 12 months duration. Uh, the core subjects are pathology, pharmacology, and microbiology. Same community medicine, at home, pandemic modules, stimulation based learning, family adoption programs, ALI, AL, AIL. They're also common. You'll, you'll, you'll be also having clinical postings like general surgery, general medicine, and OBG. In phase three, it is also divided into part one and part two. Part one is of 12 months and part two is of 18 months which overall include 30 months so in part one you will be having forensic medicine tox toxicology as core subject and community medicine these two subjects were only there in part one but in 2024 uh, two new subjects were added from the fourth year which were ENT auto rhino uh, laryngology and ophthalmology so in 2023 there are only two subjects so in 2024 uh, two more subjects were added from your final year and you will be having in 2023 same uh, clinical postings as medicine, surgery, uh, pediatrics, and OBG. And at home and family adoption programs were also common, and electives were also common. In part two, uh, there were electives, and the general core subjects were medicine, surgery, and ENT and ophthalmology, and OBG and pediatrics followed by at home and respective postings. So, so the two subjects from the fine uh, part two final year were added to the phase part one of the. Uh, third year like phase 3 in 2024 this was the new update was given uh, by the NMC in the CBMB curriculum uh, guidelines that were issued and previously if you want to see uh, the previous like uh, the past uh, medical uh, syllabus so it were it was like prof 1 prof 2nd prof 3rd prof and 4th prof and internship it was like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and pharma in the first year, or also called as first prof, which was called as preclinical. And in second prof, the main subjects were pharmacology, pathology, microbiology, and forensic medicine and toxicology, which was of one and a half year, which is also called as paraclinical. And third prof, also called as third year, which will be having PSM, preventive social medicine. Now it was updated to community medicine. And uh, now again, one subject is ENT. And now it was also called as auto rhino laryngology, like that time also called as that only, but it was in third year. So, and ophthalmology in fourth person year, general medicine, surgery, and obstetric and gynecology, pediatrics, orthopedics, and psychiatric, dermatology, venerology, and leprosy, uh, radio radiology, and anesthesiology were the core subjects of the fourth year. After this, you will be proceeded to internship 
uh, after the university exams of respective uh, state you will be proceeded to internship where you will do your internship of one year in the respective hospital and you will uh, pass out as a medical graduate holding your the main aim of the uh, cbmb curriculum is when you graduate from your medical college you you will become a clinician who understands and provides preventive promotive curative palliative and holistic care with compassion that uh, that will define the indian medical graduate who will uh, go into the society to help the to help uh, to help the community towards the healthcare system and this was uh, all about the new cbmb curriculum if you want further videos please comment in the section about that videos we will try to make it and if you want the competencies to be dealt, uh, dealt in details please comment in the section we will do it for you and please like comment and share please support us and we will do the best for you guys all the best for your studies and all the best uh, the new uh, joining students in the medical field medical course medical degree i wish all your dreams come true